Today we're going to be talking about percent composition by mass. So what is that? Let's look at, for example, hydrogen peroxide, which is H2O2. So percent composition by mass is very simple. It's basically the percent by mass of each element in the compound. So for example, for hydrogen peroxide, we have hydrogen element and the oxygen element. So the hydrogen will have a certain percent composition by mass, and the oxygen will have a certain percent composition by mass. So the equation, percent composition of an element equals the molar mass of the element you're talking about. times the number of atoms in the compound divided by molar mass of the compound. Okay, so right here in this equation we have the molar mass of an element which we talked about in a previous video is just the atomic mass that you look up in the periodic table. And then right here, molar mass of the compound, which we again talked about in a previous video, is just the sum of all the atomic masses and whatever, uh, the sum of all the atomic masses of the element of the compound you're talking about. So let's do, let's work out an example now. So let's do it in blue for hydrogen. So the percent by mass of hydrogen is going to equal and so this right here is the percent composition by mass this quantity right here so that equals the molar mass of the element times the number of moles in the compound or you can say atoms it all depends on what you're talking about okay so let's do this molar mass of the element the element that we're talking about is hydrogen so the molar mass of hydrogen if you look at the periodic table for the atomic mass is 1.008 alright that was easy now just the number of moles in there all you gotta do is look at this number right here because remember in this compound this molecular formula is basically a mole ratio there's two hydrogens per two oxygens so there's a two so times two alright numerator's done now molar mass of the compound alright so according to that previous video the molar mass of the compound is going to be all of the atomic masses summed up together so we'll do that in a different color over here so atomic mass of hydrogen times two because we have two of them plus the atomic mass of oxygen times two because there's two of them in there equals that should be about 19 oh whoa 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 hold on where'd 19 come from okay for some reason I can't erase 19 so I'm just gonna cross that through it's gonna be about 34.02 all right, so what I just did in the green right there is I added up all the atomic masses in this compound to equal 34.02, so that is the molar mass of this compound. So we can just insert that into the denominator for the equation, 34.02. All right. Throw that in my calculator. Oh my goodness, I forgot this equation up here is times 100 can't forget that sorry about that so there right here there's a times 100 okay so and the answer comes out to 5.926 percent all right so that's the answer for hydrogen that is the percent composition by mass for hydrogen in this particular compound, hydrogen peroxide. Now let's do it for oxygen as well. So oxygen I'll do in red, percent by mass, 
of oxygen is going to equal the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16.00, times the number of moles in the compound, which is going to be 2, divided by the molar mass. We already found the molar mass, 34.02. Oh, don't forget the times 100. And that's going to equal... Um, 94.06 percent and that right there is for oxygen okay let me go to the next slide okay so here's the answers that we got before for hydrogen peroxide the percent by mass of hydrogen is 5.926 percent and the percent by mass of oxygen is 94.06 percent but we look at this you have two hydrogens and two oxygens. So it's the same the same amount of both elements. So you would think it should be 50-50, right? Because you have two hydrogens, two oxygens, same amount. <clears throat> but if we look at this, the hydrogens only take up 5.926% by mass, while the oxygens take up over 90% of the whole mass. And that just tells you how much heavier oxygen is. Because even though you have the same number of oxygens as you do hydrogens. The hydrogens, what is the atomic mass of hydrogen? Hydrogen is 1.008 grams, while the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. And this is if we're talking about one mole, so the molar mass. So the molar mass of hydrogen is 1.008 grams, while the molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams. So almost 16 the oxygen only weighs almost 16 times more than the hydrogen so this is where you have to be careful when you're looking at a molecular formula even though on a mole ratio you have 50 percent hydrogens 50 percent oxygens that is on a mole ratio when you look at the molecular formula and these numbers here that this is a mole ratio but if you're going to look at a ratio by mass or a percent by mass that can be completely different because look at this so this is 50% mole, moles of hydrogen, 50% moles oxygen, but when it comes to mass, only about 6% by mass is taken up by the hydrogen, while 94% is taken up by the oxygen. So it's an important thing to keep in mind when, you, when you're trying to understand the differences between mass and moles. So we'll do, a, we'll do another example. Oh yeah, and also, don't forget, if you were to find the percent by mass of every single element in the compound so for in this case there's only hydrogen and oxygen we found the percent by mass of hydrogen and the percent by mass of oxygen if we're going to add up all the percents by mass of every element in the compound it should equal of course 100 percent so if we added these together it will be about 100 percent okay so the problem says phosphoric acid which is what I have here, H3PO4, is a colorless, sir syrupy liquid used in detergents, fertilizers, toothpaste, and in carbonated beverages for a tangy flavor. Calculate the percent composition by mass of hydrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen. So we need to find the percent by mass. All that info I told you about, about being tangy and syrupy, doesn't even matter. It was just a bunch of fluff. All we need to know is the molecular formula which they provided and this equation right here which I rewrote for you again in a nice brown color so and they said do it for hydrogen phosphorus and oxygen if you can guess why it's because phosphoric acid is made up of hydrogen phosphorus and oxygen so we're gonna have to use this equation three times because we have to find it for three different elements alright let's do this hydrogen it's gonna be in blue so percent by mass of hydrogen it's going to equal molar mass of hydrogen 1.008 times 3 divided by the molar mass of the compound oh I get my cal oh, I guess I should I should write it out for everybody okay this is probably what we should have done first but here I'll put green molar mass of the compound oh man that's bad handwriting I'm sorry equals all right so it's going to be the atomic mass of every single element 
added up together. Multiply times however many there are. The molar mass of phosphorus, I gotta look that up. 30. Don't have to multiply that because there's only one. Oxygen, I got that memorized. Alright. Let's do that in our head. Uh, okay, so I got I got this to equal ninety seven point nine nine four. That's a little too much. And now I didn't do that in my head. I used the calculator, but it's okay. So that's the molar mass. We're gonna throw it right there in the denominator because that's what the equation calls for. And this turns out to be three. Oh man, I did it again. Don't forget about multiply times a hundred. Maybe because I always have to redo it. You won't forget now. All right, and I got this. All right, so hydrogen's only 3%, so that's believable because hydrogen doesn't weigh as much. Phosphorus, we'll do in yellow. Actually, I've never done yellow. Might not be able to see it. Let's do purple. So, percent by mass. Uh, phosphorus is going to be... Phosphorus. Molar mass of phosphorus, like I said, 30.97. Don't have to multiply it times anything because there's only one. Divided by the molar mass times 100. And that turns out to be 31.61%. Now, that's believable too. It's a lot more than the hydrogen, but look how much more the phosphorus weighs more than the hydrogen. So that makes sense. Now for the final one, oxygen. I'm going to have to put over here. I'll put a line. Percent by mass of oxygen is going to equal 16 times 4, because there's 4 of them, divided by 97.994 times 100. And that turns out to be 65.31 oh man ran out of space let's try that again 65 point oh, I'm not gonna make it okay I'm just gonna put a three percent all right now we just done all three of them so here's the percent by mass of hydrogen using the equation right here Here's the percent by mass of phosphorus using the same exact equation right here. And here's the percent by mass of oxygen using the same equation. Now if we find the percent by mass of all the elements in the compound, add them together, and then it should equal 100, which uh, I'll let you guys try that one out.